In today's episode, a trailer will be called Dita, a steering wheel will be bucked, and the truck mating season will finally start. This is a MIAG. Basically, it is a tiny German truck slash tractor which is powered by a diesel engine. It has been built before and during the Second World War. Here is a Peel P50 pulling a cute trailer. I am not an expert when it comes to vehicle safety, but this does not look good. Seamus, also known as generic woodworking, has built this amazing functional wooden car model. It basically shows almost every single moving component of a real car. A V8 engine, functional steering, differential, a three-stage gearbox, a hydraulic clutch and brakes, even a tiny key system and so much more. The longer you look, the more cool little details you can find. A model like this can take up to 300 hours to finish. Seamass is now working on a new, even more detailed model of a hot rod with features like an adjustable height suspension. Make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel to see how his model develops. Never judge a car by its wheels. Ah, super. <laughs> Trucks do not need to have airbags because during accidents they usually hit objects that are lighter in mass. This means that there is no sudden deceleration like in smaller cars. But if there is a collision between two fully loaded trucks, not even an airbag can save the truck driver. The BMW S85 V10 is not famous for being a reliable engine, but it is one of the best horsepower per liter output for a NA car, and it just sounds amazing. This is how you efficiently transport 5 mini trucks in one shipping container. Ray Watson built a plane which is powered by the Chevrolet LS3 engine. It sounds absolutely amazing, especially while taxiing and taking off. One of the reasons he built it that way is to keep the maintenance costs low while having a better reliability from a car engine. That thing sounds so cool when it started up. The so-called death wobble happens in cars with a solid front axle. It is usually initiated after hitting a small bump at mid to high speeds. The weird thing is, it is a known issue for a long time and it still happens in new trucks. The only way to stop it is to reduce your speed. Every day we stray further from God. You hear about all those two JZ swaps. Time to switch it up with a diesel powered Supra now. And a 500 horsepower OM606 swapped BMW. Ah. 
This is a transit bus in Cuba, also called the camel bus. Basically, it is a trailer with seats attached to a truck. This is a Volkswagen Lupo with two VR6 engines, totaling a 5.6 liter displacement. You don't own a real car yet, but you want to get noticed on a car meet? Just do what this guy did, build a cool RC drift car and have some fun. Let's go. We got a Subi gang meeting. Looks like you made some friends, buddy. No this is how a Holly carburetor works. To put it simple, it is a system that provides more fuel during full throttle or heavy load situations. Shifting into the lower gear while nearing the red line is called the money shift. This even happens to the best drivers, for example this guy in a Miata. Do you like convertibles but also need practicality? This company solved this problem by building a soft top mechanism for the Ford F-150. When driving in extra trucks, be extra cautious to not end up in their blind spot. This lady thought she was entitled to go first while blocking other cars on a narrow road. Right, but are actually in the wrong. <laughs> Come to first up. Who would win? A 7500 watt subwoofer or Steve? That's everything for today. All sources are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.